Preparation of 0.5 molar EDTA. The purpose is to prepare 0.5 molar EDTA as part of preparing TBE, Tris Borate EDTA buffer, for gel electrophoresis. As we are preparing 500 ml of 0.5 molar EDTA, weigh 73.06 grams of EDTA, which is the molecular weight times 0.5 molar times 0.5 liter. Put the 73 grams of EDTA in a Doran bottle. Add 2 to 300 ml of distilled water. Stir vigorously using magnetic stirrer at 50 degrees centigrade. DDTA free is insoluble in water and will remain milky until pH is raised from acidic to alkaline. NaOH, sodium hydroxide, to raise pH and thus enhance solubility. pH of EDTA is around 2 to 3. Our target is colorless solution of pH 8. Therefore, good amount of NaOH is added and stirred. You may start with 15 grams, 150 pellets of NaOH. Keep stirring and measuring pH of solution until reaching pH 8. Keep adding NaOH pellets at increments of 5 pellets and continue stirring and measuring pH. Five pellets of NaOH added. At one time, one liter of 0.5 molar EDTA requires 638 pellets. One pellet equals 0.1 gram. In total, 63.8 grams of NaOH to dissolve and become clear as EDTA is unhydrated. No H2O. As soon as solution becomes clear, stop adding NaOH and measure pH. Upon measuring pH 8.4, add few drops of concentrated HCl to reach pH 8. Keep adding HCl drop by drop and monitor the pH meter until pH 8. Label the bottom. Keep at room temperature for as long as it's clear, but keep adjusting pH regularly to maintain pH 8. Which is the best form of EDTA to use? EDTA salts are more soluble in water. EDTA salts are more soluble as pH increases. NaOH increases solubility of EDTA as it increases pH. Thus, EDTA anhydrous requires more NaOH to dissolve. Recipe References 